Let's talk about writing linear equations. Let's get a little bit of review out of the way. Slope formula. I told you yesterday that I'm not I don't get caught up on y sub 2, y sub 1. I just want you to understand the concept is the change in y. I'm already messing up on this. The change in y compared to the change in x. which can also be written delta y, delta x. We also learned yesterday that a standard form is delta means change. Change in y, change in x. So standard form is ax plus by equals c. Slope intercept form you guys are all familiar with is y equals mx plus b, where m is my slope. And b is my intercept, my y-intercept. Sorry about that. And the new one we'll be doing today is point slope, which is y minus my y value is equal to my slope times x minus my x value. Where x and y are the ordered pair. Give you a second to finish writing that down. Okay, so pencils down. Excellent. Write an equation in slope intercept form that satisfies a set of conditions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write that, that formula that you're all familiar with, y equals mx plus b. My next step is I'm going to substitute. I have my slope is 4 thirds. And I have a point 3 comma 2. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute. I know what y is. I know what my slope is. I know what x is. I just don't know what b is right now, my y-intercept. So let's substitute 3, 2. So this is my x value, that's 3. And my y value is 2. My slope is 4 thirds. My next step is I'm going to simplify this. 2 equals, oh, the 3's cancel each other, that's nice. 4 plus b, subtract both sides by 4. b equals negative 2. But now, my final step is I need to substitute that back in and write my equation y equals mx plus b, well, I know my slope, just put arrows here, my slope is 4 thirds, and b is negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite it. y equals 4 thirds x minus 2. There's my equation. Steps. Write your formula. Substitute, solve, write the equation. Questions? No questions so far? All right, let me do it again. Then you're going to take notes on it, okay? So just sit back. I'm almost there. Write an equation in slope intercept form that satisfies a set of conditions. So this is the part where you should be looking at the steps saying, okay, I'm gonna, I know what she's going to do. Now I'm going to watch her do it one more time, and I'm going to get it. So I'm going to write my formula, y equals mx plus b. Next I'm going to substitute, substitute in y, substitute in my slope, substitute in x, and I'm looking for b. Here's my x value, here's my y value, here's my slope. 
Oop, I didn't change my color. The negative 4 goes right there. Go ahead and solve it. Negative 2 equals positive 8 plus B. Subtract 8 from both sides. I'm just going to do it in the same color. And I get B equals negative 10. My final step is to write my equation. Y equals MX plus B can be written as Y equals negative 4X minus 10. Go ahead and copy that down. Any questions? No questions? We're good? Okay, copy that down. <laughs> okay, pencils down again. Let's look at point slope form this time. Now, first of all, please don't close your mind because actually point slope form I think is easier. But you can choose at the end. But just keep your mind open for now. All right? So before, whichever form I do with this particular problem, am I given the slope? No, so I've got to find the slope first. So I'm going to find my change in y over my change in x. So I'm going to draw that little skeleton that I talked about yesterday so I don't forget anything. I'm finding my change in y. My y values are 3 and negative 5. I'm going to put 3 and negative 5. Remember, no writing yet and 2 and negative 4. 2 and negative 4. 3 minus minus 5 is 3 plus 5, so that's 8. And 2 minus minus 4 is 2 plus 4, so that's 6. And that also simplifies to 4 thirds. So there's my slope. So now we're going to start our process. Okay, now that we have our slope and we have a point, Let's pick one. I'm going to pick this one right here because they're positive, right? So forget about that one. Now we have a point and a slope. I'm going to write my formula. y minus my y value is equal to my slope times x minus my x value. Substitute y minus my y value equals my slope times x minus my x value. My points are 2, 3. So x is 2, goes there. y is 3, goes there. And my slope is 4 thirds. Further simplify this. I did record, right? Yeah. So y minus 3 equals 4 thirds x have to distribute over here too as well. There's nothing to cancel, the numerator and the denominator, so it's just 4 times 2, which is negative 8 thirds. Try and not let the fractions trip you up on this. So finally, I have to solve for y. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. When I do that, I get y equals 4 thirds x, uh oh, negative 8 thirds and 3. Let's do that over here. Negative 8 thirds plus 3 is just like saying negative 8 thirds plus 9 thirds. Is it 9 over 3, 3? So negative 8 thirds plus 9 thirds is 1 third. Plus 1 third. There is my equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Are there any questions so far? Yes. You sure? I can go back up a little bit. I'm going to let you... Actually, let's not copy this one down. Let's copy the next one down. I'm going to do it one more time, and then you can copy it down. But I'm, you don't need to copy this down anyway. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go. Nope. Doesn't matter which one you take. I just take the one that has less negatives in it. So I don't want to deal with the negatives. Sorry, Janelle. So here are my steps. 
Good. I'm glad you asked me to because now I, I found the slope. I wrote my formula. I substituted. I solved for y. I'll do it one more time. Find my slope. Change in y over change in x. Difference between my y's. Difference between my x's. My y's are 1 and negative 4. My x's are 6 and 8. One minus minus four is one plus four, and six minus eight is negative two. There's my slope. Now I'm going to write my equation. Y minus my y value equals my slope times x minus my x value. Y minus y, and oops, I know my slope. Sorry, my slope times x minus my x value. Choose this one. Six one. Six goes here. One goes here. Put in my slope. Negative five half. Simplify. Y minus one equals negative five halves x. I'm going to be really careful here because I've got a negative five half times a negative 6. 2 cancels, 6 cancels, what do I have left over? 3. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Add 1 to both sides. Give myself a little tiny bit more room here y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 16 in slope intercept 1. Go ahead and copy that down. Okay, so if there's no questions, I'm going to go ahead and finish out. We're not going to do whiteboards. We'll get there, but I want to make sure we're getting through our lessons before we do whiteboards. And I'm going to put my, my steps, let's just put, still not there, just make them small and over to the side. It's like awfully long. What's going on with that? All right. Sorry. Just kidding. I'll just take a picture of it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so write an equation in slope-intercept form that satisfies the set of conditions. Passes through 3, 7, there's our point. They only gave us 1. And perpendicular to y equals 3 fourths x minus 5. What do we know about perpendicular lines? The opposite reciprocal is going to be our slope. So our slope is not going to be 3 fourths, but negative 4 thirds. Now we've got everything to do either one. So I'm going to write both equations. I've got y equals mx plus b, and I have y minus y sub 1 is equal to my slope times x minus f sub, x sub 1. No, just wait. Just watch me do it. I'm going to give you time to copy it down. And you can decide which one you want to copy down. You don't need to copy both of them down, right? Okay, so now I'm going to substitute my y, my slope, x, plus b. Same thing over here. My y, my slope, x minus my x value. I've got 3 is my x value, so that goes here, also goes here. y is 7, that goes here and here, and negative four-thirds goes here and here. Seven equals, okay, these cancel, and I have negative four plus b. Over here I have y minus seven equals negative four-thirds x, and then these cancel, and that's negative times negative is a positive 
4. Correct? Over here, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. B equals 3. Over here, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Oh, thank you. Which I would have caught right now because over here I'm seeing 11 as well. Thanks, guys. B equals 11, and over here I add 7 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 11. Done. Let's make that prettier. Done. Right? But what do I have to do over here? I still have to write my equation. I have to write it as y equals mx plus b. So I've got y equals, what was my slope again? Negative 4 thirds x plus 11. Now which one do you think is easier? I still think that the y and x plus b is easier. You do? Okay. And I can understand that because you know what? This is familiar. You know it. You get it. But what I would find is when I would find B, then I would stop and go, okay, now what was I doing again? With this one, you don't even have to think about it. It takes you directly to it. You just aren't used to this formula yet that much. But as you get better and better and more familiar with it, you'll, I think you'll agree with me that this way is easier. But you can pick either one that you want to write down. If it says that you need to use the slope-intercept form, then you need to use the slope-intercept form. If it tells you you need to use point-slope to solve it, you need to use point-slope because you need to understand this skill and be able to apply it. Okay? All right, go ahead and copy whichever one you want down, or both. All right, so let's talk about what we did. What did we learn today? Writing equations, right? What is, quiet down, what is the difference between slope-intercept form and point-slope form? Somebody raise their hand and tell me, what's the difference between point-slope and slope-intercept? Yes? Point-slope, it takes you directly to Point-slope, it takes you directly. Slope-intercept, you have to solve for B and then plug it back in, right? Justin was listening to music during the lesson. How would you explain slope formula to him? We did this yesterday. How would you explain slope? What's the slope formula? No, slope formula. Finding slope. I heard it. Who said it? Change in y over the change in x. All right, on your assignment sheet, I want you to write down, I like blank form because, whichever one you like. I like slope-intercept form because, I'm more familiar with it. I'm sorry, this is for the closing thought. I like blank form B cut. Good job, guys.